In a world where financial stability is elusive, let's explore why gold outshines cash every time. Gold has been a trusted store of value for thousands of years. Ancient civilizations valued its rarity and beauty, using it as a standard of wealth. Fast forward to today, gold continues to shine through economic turmoil, unlike cash, which has only been around in its current form for a few centuries and shows significant aging. The original gold standard provided economic stability without inflation for hundreds of years. During World War I, it was diluted to extend the war by manipulating economies. Under this standard, wars were shorter because financing required actual gold, ensuring discipline and swift resolutions. Contrast this with the Afghanistan war, funded by fiat currency, which extended unnecessarily, costing lives due to the lack of financial restraint. Post-World War I modifications to the gold standard favored English-speaking nations, leading to instability. The original standard didn't favor any nation and was stable for centuries. Reinstating this original system, termed the Newtonian gold standard, involves eliminating income tax and raising sales tax to promote saving. The Newtonian gold standard is named after Sir Isaac Newton, who was master of the Royal Mint in the early 18th century. He fixed the price of gold and silver, creating a stable system. This system was later abandoned in favor of a more flexible system that led to economic turmoil. I created a gold standard meant to benefit all, not favor any one nation. It grieves me to see modern politicians dismantle this vision for their own power and to inflate away their debts. Their reckless actions undermine stability and sacrifice public welfare. I implore those in power to recognize their folly and restore the gold standard exactly as I designed it, with no changes. It is already suitable for today, crafted for the long term. Any modification by governments claiming to suit it for the present would defeat its purpose. Only then can we avoid disastrous cycles of booms and busts, ensuring a stable, prosperous future for all the gold standard, as I conceived it, ensures discipline and accountability, constraining the reckless spending of governments. It prevents the devaluation of our hard-earned wealth and protects future generations from inheriting insurmountable debt. Restoring this system in its original form is not just a financial necessity, but a moral imperative to safeguard the economic future of our society. It is time to return to principles that foster true and lasting prosperity. By returning to the principles of the Newtonian gold standard, advocates believe that nations can achieve economic stability and prosperity. Gold's intrinsic value as a tangible asset you can hold and store contrasts sharply with cash, which in the digital age often represents mere numbers vulnerable to cyber threats, devaluation, or rampant printing by governments. Recall the 2008 financial crisis. Cash and related investments plummeted, while gold reliably held its value, acting as a hedge against inflation and economic uncertainty. When markets crash or inflation rises, gold's value typically increases, confirming its status as a safe haven. Over the last century, the United States dollar has lost about 95% of its purchasing power. In 1913, one dollar had far more buying power than today. In contrast, gold has preserved its value. An ounce still purchases what it did a century ago, proving its endurance over fleeting cash. Currency unbacked by gold leads to higher taxes, as governments print money to cover debts, fueling inflation and reducing cash's value. This cycle discourages saving and devalues earnings. Furthermore, inflation tactics used to manage national debt devalue both currency and citizen savings, often subordinating public welfare to governmental financial strategies. The abandonment of the gold standard in the early 20th century had profound repercussions, arguably leading to the economic instability that fueled World War II. The hyperinflation and economic despair in post-World War I Germany created fertile ground for extremism, paving the way for the National Socialists' rise to power. The gold standard had provided economic discipline and stability, preventing such chaos. Reinstating it, exactly as Isaac Newton designed, would safeguard against the reckless fiscal policies and debt-driven inflation that jeopardize global stability today. Let history teach us the value of true financial security. 
Dubai exemplifies the benefits of a gold-like economy with no income tax and a sales tax system that fosters saving and attracts global residents, demonstrating that a stable, prosperous economy can exist under gold standard principles. Gold also offers privacy benefits over cash or digital transactions, which governments can easily track. Moreover, diversifying investments with gold reduces financial risks and balances portfolio losses. Call and write to politicians regularly and ask for the Newtonian gold standard be brought back in full with no changes. Gold's historical stability, intrinsic value and protective capabilities establish it as a superior financial safeguard. If Isaac Newton's science was trusted to reach the moon, why abandon his economic principles? Today's leaders should reconsider the gold standard to correct past oversights. Enjoyed this analysis? Like, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Share with other gold enthusiasts and comment below. Does gold truly beat cash? Thanks for joining me.